the Mavs planning to celebrate Dirk tonight? Well, actually, if you could probably hear, I'm in the concourse right now. They're practicing um, right out on the court. So if you hear that sound, that's them practicing for the ceremony. I'm also, like I said, in the concourse. Well, they'll have a setup of a memorabilia museum dedicated to Dirk. There are eight different sections, including game balls, jerseys, trophies. I'm in front of the game-worn shoes here, which also include uh, game six of the 2011 finals. So that's going to be really cool for fans uh, who will be in attendance. They're actually opening the doors up early so they can take a walk around the concourse and check out the memorabilia, which I'm, I'm told they had to go to Dirk's house this morning to get some key items. Wow. So it's going to be Really, really cool exclusive stuff. Also, fans are getting one of 10 bobbleheads. This is um, Dirk from his rookie year. He's missing that, you know, uh, famous uh, earring he had uh, during, the, <laughs> during the draft. Um, they're also giving away these towels uh, for, for Dirk. That's pretty cool. It's like his jersey. And, and one other cool thing, of course, uh, Mark Cuban's bringing out all the stops. All fans attending tonight's game will receive one of four exclusive 41 Forever Dirk Nowitzki NFT jerseys when they scan in their ticket. Um, no, the Mavs have been giving away NFTs at home games, but these are only exclusive to tonight and to his jersey retirement. So that's, that's pretty cool there. Um, a lot of people close to Dirk will be in attendance, including eight members of the 2011 championship team, like Peja Stojakovic, Sean Marion, J.J. Barea. His parents flew in from Germany, as well as his sister and some of his former coaches and trainers. Dirk will be making a speech during the ceremony post game. He spoke yesterday um, about trying to hold in his emotions. But look, this city loves Dirk. And, you know, given that he's eligible for the Hall of Fame in 2023, this is just the beginning of the celebration of Dirk. Well, I hope it is as special for the fans as it was for us to watch you do that little Matrix move. But we can't talk today. There it is. We can't talk to a reporter covering the Warriors game, a Warriors game, and not ask about Clay Thompson, right? So you talk to Clay. What's the latest on his return for Golden State? Well, I think, I think all the Warriors, including Clay, are done talking about his return, because I tried to talk to him, and he said, oh, I don't want to talk. And then I said, well, you want to talk about Dirk? And he about jumped, you know, five <laughs> feet. I'm like, I'll talk about Dirk. I, he said he was so excited to be able to see Dirk tonight. He called his one-legged uh, fadeaway iconic. Um, but I was able to slip in a couple questions about how he's feeling. And he's just, he's just so excited to play again. He said it like that. I'm just so excited to get back to playing basketball. And he said, I'm just so excited to play with this team because we're good. And I asked him, do you think you guys are going to be this good? And he goes, nah, not best team in the league good. So that just makes my return that much easier. And look, the team is saying they're hopeful he plays at home on Sunday, but they're not committing to that. I was told definitely he will not play on the road despite being with the team. Steve Kerr said that when he does come back, they'll probably start off playing him about 15 to 20 minutes a game, possibly rest him on back to back, but they're going to base it on how he looks out there. And so far, what I'm making being told is that he looks great in practice. Steve says his conditioning is great, but there's nothing like game speed. But this team is excited. Clay's excited. And it's going to be a celebration in its own right when he takes the court. And you have to imagine those Chase Center fans, when they get to see Clay, they are going to be excited. And you can see Cassidy on the call tonight with Dave Pash and Jeff Van Gundy at 7.30 <laughs> Eastern, 6.30 Pacific. Thank you so much, Matrix Cassidy, coming back. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, man. I don't know if I could do that. Can I? No, don't, don't, you? don't. Uh, okay. Well, I was going to try. I was probably going to fall out of the chair, but Richard, Perk, you both played a lot against Dirk. What mm -hmm. was your favorite memory of Dirk's career? Starting with you, Richard. Uh, for me, look, I, I had the, the pleasure of playing with Dirk and just being a teammate of his for a year. But one of the plays that is so iconic for me is a play that I wasn't a part of, but I had an opportunity to watch, is this play right here. And it was like, I remember watching this game and thinking, what is Manu doing? The Spurs were up three at the moment. There were 21 seconds to go. And if you know Pop and you know Manu, this is Manu kind of being Manu. He's just, he is just that guy. And the reason why it's so iconic for me is I remember watching the play and then being teammates uh, uh, of Manu and those guys and that, bothered them so much that they made a mistake, but they truly believe that that was one of the things that inspired them to go win the championship next year because they felt like they let one go. Herc? Well, with me, I know I caught 500 of those 30,000-plus points. He, he gave me 500 Probably of them. Probably more. But I have to say it was in 2000. 
Yeah, probably so, but this is my moment, so shut up. <laughs> so, you know, when, when we're talking about, hey, look, right here, 2012, you know what I mean? Getting into a little scuffle with a Hall of Famer. This is what, hey, this is what the playoffs are all about. You see it? You see it? What's up, Dirk? What you talking about? Yeah. I, I think yeah. that maybe, I think you're, yeah. you, you might be saying, you might have been saying a little more than that. Uh-huh. Do you uh -huh. have muscle in uh -huh. that? Is that yeah. muscle I see? Is that muscle I see? Because right now I can't tell where your beard starts and where it stops. Oh my good, Richard! Look, I don't even know. Richard I is now in. Tell. Richard's in timeout. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.